Are you ready for the ultimate tier list video for Brawl Stars? And let me just say right now, it's not going to be what you expect. Let's do it. Now, if you're familiar with Reddit, you might know a little bit about what I'm about to show you. Reddit has these amazing, weird, funny tier lists for Brawl Stars, and there are a lot of them, and you really should see some of these. Let's get right into it. First of all, how about a tier list based on brawlers losing animation? Okay. First of all, we have the God tier. They respect losing the game and is fair. <laughs> I mean, they do seem pretty respectful. We got someone bowing. Okay. High tier. Doesn't care too much about losing. Eh. <laughs> Mid tier. Doesn't throw a fit or cry and keeps the sorrow to themselves. <laughs> they do seem pretty sad. All of them are pretty much looking downwards. Definitely no one's happy. Low tier. These ones cry or make a big fit if they lose. <laughs> One of them loses their arms, so <laughs> there is that. What about the bottom tier? They just completely ignore the other team or are straight up disrespectful. Dynamite, I guess, kind of disrespectful to someone to stick down. I don't know about that one. But the other two just turn on their back on the enemy team, not even looking at them. That's just straight disrespectful. How dare they do that, man? This is... A team game you got to have sportsmanship and of course some of these tier lists are a bit old you can see this one was four months ago so let's go ahead and add in the new brawlers into this one we'll maybe not do this for all of them but for some of them okay first of all i think gene would be god tier man he definitely seems kind of respectful he honestly seems kind of happy like he's still smiling so i th definitely think that's got to be god tier now i think carl and rosa both might be low tier carl looks pretty dang upset i mean he's a robot so maybe he can't actually cry but he does seem really upset look at those eyebrows man and rosa she's on the ground so that's how upset she is i think rosa also would have to be low tier for her losing animation wait look at this we have an updated tier list for losing animation all right we'll do this one quickly Oh, I forgot Penny. <laughs> Easter Penny is definite new god tier because she has no losing animation. But that's the only update. They didn't do the new brawlers. All right, well, we have the real updated one for this, I guess. What about a tier list for how good it is to hug each brawler? <laughs> Why not? I mean, okay, apparently Nita, Jesse, and Pam are, are great. They're probably, I guess, the cutest, and Pam is just thick, so maybe that's a good hug. And then good, Shelly, Holt, Rock, Poco. Poco's kind of dead, though. Piper and Leon. These ones, and then uncomfortable or awkward to hug. Looks like a lot of robots. Kind of uncomfortable to hug. And then dead people. <laughs> Frank and Mortis. Mummy and Tara. Bull? I guess a lot of the men. The old men are in here, too. Dynamite and Bull. El Primo, maybe. And then, of course, Spike is painful. I'm surprised Crow isn't painful as well, but I mean, you got to give it to Spike. He is definitely going to be the most painful. Although, I don't know if I'd really want to hug a Crow either. Or, I guess, dead people, but you know. What about a tier list on Brawler's ability to fit through one block gaps? And in this one, everyone is F tier. <laughs> I guess this was back when one top one block gaps were a lot more of a pain than they are now. They're definitely better about it these days, basically just because there's not as many. They're still a pain. Brawl Stars tier list, but it's terrible bathroom humor. What's this? I have to use the bathroom? I gotta go- wait, 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 wait. What is this? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um... I guess this is like how respectful or urgent they have to use the bathroom and how they go about it. I guess there's some animals and the pirates, they just go anywhere they like. Some of them are sort of not even things. They're missing some robots here, I think. No, some of them are in there. All right, I don't even know, man. Here we go, a tier list for the different types of teamers. There's the shocked if they're not on a team. We got the throwers and poke out. Oh, yeah. What about always on skins and pick up basketball? <laughs> I 
I liked the category. Those guys definitely team a good amount. Maybe Brock, not quite as much, but the other three, definitely. You're that bad that you have to team? Spike, Leon, and Pam? Yes, I'm with you. Although teaming Pams definitely happens, but they're godly annoying, god-tier annoying. What about teams with their own kind? Yeah, okay. Definitely a lot of tanks team with tanks, pipers team with pipers, especially like Colts as well. That makes sense. Will team with anyone, Bo, Crow, and Rico. Okay, maybe I feel like Rico a little... I don't know, but Crow and Bo, those guys probably don't get, they will team with anyone. I feel that one. Backstabbers, ooh, Bull and Shelly, definitely true. Maybe even Tora, kind of a backstabber as well. Mortis gang, yeah. Mortis doesn't really need to team. It's the only, like, he can just keep on surviving by himself, keep on going. Probably add Rosa to that as well. Rosa gang, these days. Mm -mm. But here's the one you really want to know. A tier list for what each brawler does when their food gets stuck in the vending machine. Right? You have the hacks into vending machine with the miner and the sharpshooter robot. Okay, fine. This is kind of hard to read. Tries to act like they're not mad, but is actually really upset. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I don't even know. I don't know. Just keep going. Bangs on the glass in futility. Okay, those guys would seem to get kind of upset. Breaks open, blows up the vending machine, and takes food. <laughs> okay, I already know the vending machine was broken and didn't try. Tar is the smart one. Asks for help. Okay, the polite ones, I guess. Fixes the vending machine, the bartender. All right, he is a robot. Never paid it at all, just broke the vending machine and took open the food. That does seem like something Frank would do, let's not lie. Yells at the vending machine. Mortis and Nita, and then uses magic hand to get food. Of course, Gene has the magic hand that goes through anything. Gene is the vending machine god. He never has to pay for food in a vending machine. What an ability. And then another important tier list that no one asked for, a tier list on how well brawlers can digest food. <laughs> there's the very well, look, there's a lot of people that can digest food well. Well, I guess that's a good thing. The food might fall out. Two dead people. All right, I guess that makes sense. Oh, the ones who can't do it. Cr the robots and the plant. Okay. Eats worms and bread like a loser. <laughs> Poor crow. Oh, man. Buff crow's eating ability. That's the real buff we need. And now, a brawler tier list, but it's about their sleep schedule. There's the normal sleep schedule. I guess you could call these the good kids or the responsible adults. Then the funky sleep schedule. Yeah, of course the guy who wears shades would be on that one. What about the bad sleep schedule? Bull. Yeah, all right, let's not be, he's kind of a rebel, right? That's not surprising. No sleep schedule. The bear and the pirate. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. What about doesn't sleep at all? Gonna be the robots, dead people, and um, the cactus, okay. Creature of the night. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 we know that one. Jet lagged. Okay, the mummy, I guess. I can see it, maybe. Probably has a curfew. The two kids. And then Gene. <laughs> he probably doesn't have a sleep schedule. Yeah, that makes sense. Another important tier list. A tier list based on brawler's thickness. My god, that's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> I'm surprised there's so many in that. I thought it was going to be like... I thought Pam was going to be like god tier. All right. Then the thick... Those are some thick boys. That's definitely true. Definitely true. Semi-thick? Yeah, Gene is kind of, Gene is kind of thick. I, I guess now looking back, the new Rico is definitely really thick. But, but Piper? Maybe. I don't know. Average? Okay, yeah. Not surprising. Flat? Those guys are kind of small. That's true. This ain't it. <laughs> I mean, okay. How does it even get that flat? Crow is so small compared to every other brawler. It's honestly not even close. It is pretty weird. All right, I guess he's the opposite of thick, man. He's thin. Too thin. A tier list based on brawler's depth perception. Good depth perception, AKA they have two visible eyes. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Poor depth perception. They only have one visible eye. 
Yeah, the robots all have one eye. And Tora, okay. And then Leon can't freaking see anything. I think Bo, the new Bo, is now in the blind gang. Because I'm pretty sure his hat might cover his eyes. No, I gotta double check crap. All right, I'm wrong. His eyes are just shaded. He can still see though. All right, fine. Also important, what do brawlers eat? There's the tea and cookies. Okay, that one makes sense for Piper, completely. Prefers to eat only fast food. All the thick ones and the kids. Okay. Hopes and dreams. They eat hopes and dreams. <laughs> okay. The dead people, essentially. It's enough to look at himself and doesn't eat for the rest of the day. That's such a cult thing. Doesn't have enough teeth? Oh, old man dynamite. Nothing. The robots and the cactus. Everything. That's an interesting one. Rats. Okay. Your trophies. Ooh, that one's probably the most true. What about how well brawlers can ride a small bike? Well, it looks like we have all of the smallest ones. It's like, it's almost like a height chart. Really, if you think about it, it's like the biggest ones are at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. How about a tier list for how often you see a skin that a brawler wears? Okay. There's the pretty much every game the default hat skin and the free skins. That does make sense. Fairly common. El Rudo Primo. Really? I don't know about that one, but Golden Barley, maybe, okay. Common? Shiba, not Shiba Nier, sorry. Panda Nita is a really nice skin. I do like that. Those skins, okay. Rare. Ooh, El Rey Primo is like the best Primo skin though. Night Witch Mortis. Yeah, all right, all right. Easter Bunny? Yeah, I guess. Very rare, Phoenix Crow. Yeah, that one is expensive. Football Bowl. Oh, Santa Dynamite. But dude, Loaded Rico, I do like Loaded Rico though. I mean, liking a skin is not the same as seeing it. Endangered. Yeah, honestly, that Nita skin definitely is not seen that much. I'm surprised the two Mort skins aren't switched, but I can't say I like either of them that much. The Colt one I do like. Same with the Dynamite one as well. And the Poco and the Rico. Well, there's a lot of... All right, whatever. Just because I like it doesn't mean it's seen. This is an interesting one. Probably varies a lot for people. Also a difficult list to make, to be honest. What about a tier list based on Brawler's voice acting? There's the beautiful... Okay. I do like... Now I'm thinking about it. I like all those. Definitely. Very good. Yeah, I'm... Actually, I actually really agree with this so far. Decent... Yeah, honestly, crows, I kind of don't like. Franks, I like, but it's hard to love. That's for sure. Mortis, it's okay. Poco, yeah. Carl, okay, wait, I love Carl's though. Dynamix, I don't got any problems with it. Carl, I feel like it's so fitting. <laughs> and then Gene has his own category. Freaking Gene, man. And then Poco, after he gets ranked number 25 in Coach Corey's tier list. <laughs> his head is off. I like this one. This is a good one. Check out some actually real tier lists right over there that will actually help you get better at Brawl Stars. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later.